Hello everyone, welcome po ulit sa ating video tutorial. Thank you for subscribing to our Math Easy YouTube channel and we also encourage you to please follow, like, and share our Facebook page. And also we'd like to thank you for not skipping the ads. This will be a great help for us to continue our program. In today's video, we are going to discuss solving problems involving volume of cylinder. This is the second part of our lesson on volume of cylinder. Kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood yung first video natin about this lesson, madami po tayong matututunan sa first video natin kasi na-discuss natin doon yung derivation of the formula of the volume of the cylinder. We also discussed the difference between volume and area and even the area of a circle. Well, in this video, we are going to focus more on solving problems. We will practice is how to solve problems that involves finding the height, the radius, and the volume of a cylinder. So if you are ready, let us now begin. At the end of this video, you will solve problems involving the volumes of cylinder. So, i-review lang po natin yung ating uh, area ng circle. We have area is equal to pi times r squared. Pagdating naman po sa volume of a cylinder, we have here volume is equal to pi times r squared times the height. Okay, let's now start solving problems on volume of a cylinder. Okay, let me read the first example. A cylindrical drum is used to store rainwater for a small household. The drum has a radius of 1.2 meters and a height of 3 meters. What is the total volume of water the drum can hold? Now, we will be using the value 3.14 for our pi. This is the approximate value of pi. Okay, remember pi is an irrational number. It should be non-terminating and non-repeating. Okay, so now let's begin with the given. We have here the radius 1.2 meters. The height is 3 meters. The volume is unknown. So using the formula, the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi times r squared times height. Let us just substitute the given. So ang ating pi ay 3.14. Ang ating radius ay 1.2 meters. But we have to square it because that is in the formula. And then we have the height which is 3 meters. Okay? Ano pong unayin natin dito? We can start with the exponent. So 1.2 squared, ang ibig lang sabihin niyan ay 1.2 times 1.2. Therefore, our answer is 1.44. Now we can multiply all these 3 in any order since this is just multiplication therefore we can start with uh, pwedeng ito mas mabilis 1.44 times 3 we get 4.32 times 3.14 we get 13.5648 now we can simplify this by rounding it off to the second decimal place so we have 13.56 ang basa po nito ay cubic meters. Okay? Now, kung uh, nagtataka kayo, when it comes to our final answer, yung ating unit po dyan ay cubic meters because remember, when we are dealing with volume, the unit should always be in cubic units. So, the volume of the cylinder here is 13.56 cubic meters. Okay, example number two, a farmer uses a cylindrical silo to store grain. The silo has a diameter of 10 feet and a height of 15 feet. What is the total volume of the silo in cubic feet? Okay, ito pong itsura ng isang silo. This is where they store grains. It's made out of steel. Okay, to have a longer or lasting uh, preservation ng mga grains. Now, this is in the form of a cylindrical shape okay except for the top ano po because it's it's more of a dome pero ang tinitingnan po natin dito is yung body yung body niya which is a cylinder now with our formula we cannot use radius because hindi po siya given ang given lang po ay height diameter and then wala pong radius but remember diameter is Two times radius, meaning in order for us to get the volume, kailangan muna nating i-divide si diameter para makuha natin si radius. Okay, so how do we do that? Radius is equal to d over 2. You just divide the given diameter by 2 to make it 5. Therefore, our volume now is equal to 
3.14 times 5, the radius, squared times the height, which is 15. Okay? So, let's start with the exponent. 5 squared is equal to 25. Multiply natin sa 15, we will get 375. Multiply it by 3.14, we will get 1,177.5. Ano pong basa nito? Cubic feet. Okay, so our answer is the volume of the cylinder is 1,177.5 cubic feet. Alright, example number 3. A large cylindrical water tank can hold 904.32 cubic meter of water. The height of the tank is 6 meter. What is the radius of the tank? Alright, so here ano po ang uh, tinatanong or ano ang hinahanap natin? So we are looking for the radius of the tank. Given po ang volume, given din po ang height. Okay, so in our solution, first we have to identify ano yung mga given. There you go. At ano yung nawawala, yung atin pong radius. Okay, so using our formula, we can actually substitute the given. So ang ating volume ay 904.32 at ang ating uh, height ay 6 at yung radius po ang unknown. Okay, we can just multiply kung ano po yung mga given values. So we can multiply 3.14 and then 6, yun po muna. So, we have 18.84. Naiwan na po yung ating radius. So, since our radius is unknown, ano pong gagawin natin para malaman natin yung value niya? As I said in the previous video, we can just divide yung ating volume, 904.32. Ilang 18.84 po kaya ang kakasya dito sa volume? So, you just divide it by 18.84 and we will get 48. Now, that will be the value of our radius squared. Pero ano po ang hinahanap natin? Is it radius squared or just the radius? Ang hinahanap po natin is yung radius lamang. So, ito kailangan nating kunin muna yung square root ng ating uh, radius squared which is 48. Pag kinuha natin ang radius ni 48, makakancel na po yung ating exponent dito. Therefore, our radius is, square root po ng 48, 6.92820, and so on. Kasi ito po ay isang irrational number. Therefore, we can actually round this off to the second decimal place. It will now be 6.93 meters. So the radius of the cylinder is 6.93 meters. Okay, example number four, we now have here a cylindrical propane tank has a radius of 2 feet and a volume of 50.24 cubic feet. What is the height of the tank? So, ano po ang hinahanap dito? Meron po tayong radius, meron din po tayong volume. Ang nawawala is yung ating height. So, in a given, we have 50.24 cubic feet, radius ay 2 feet, unknown po yung ating height. So, in our solution, we just need to substitute sa ating formula yung mga given. So, the volume is 50.24, pi is 3.14, radius is 2, okay, raised to 2, times the height. Multiply lang po natin ang mga ito. First is the exponent. 2 times 2 is we have 4 times 3.14, we get 12.56. Okay, now here, ang kailangan natin gawin para makuha natin yung value ni H ay i-divide lang si 12.56 kay 50.24. Okay, so let's divide 50.24 divided by 12.56. Our answer will be 4. Yun po yung value ng H or nung height natin. So, 4 feet, that's the height of the cylinder. Okay, for our last example we have here, a cylindrical water container needs to be filled with water for a barangay event. The container has a height of 2.5 meters and a radius of 1 meter. However, due to a leak, the container can only hold 80% of its total volume. How much water can the container hold in cubic meters? So, meron pong water tank kaso, meron pong butas, kaya 80% lang yung kaya niyang i-hold. Now, what are we going to solve? 
solve, we need to solve first the volume of the container, nung yung water container natin. So, using our given, radius is equal to 1 meter, height is 2.5 meters, volume natin is unknown. We can now solve for the volume using the formula. Pi r squared times height, we have 3.14 times our radius 1 raised to 2 times our height 2.5. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Multiply natin sa 2.5 at saka sa 3.14, we will get 7.85. Uh, ito po yung kayang i-contain nung contain, water container, which is uh, hindi po yun yung hinahanap nating sagot. Kasi, ang kailangan natin is yung amount of water na kayang i-contain. Therefore, we just multiply it by the percentage. Okay? So, the volume of the water is equal to the volume of the container, which is 7.85 cubic uh, meters, times 80%. Ano po yung 80% ni 7.5? Multiply lang po natin sa decimal form ni 80%, which is 0 0.880. Okay, therefore, we will get 6.28 cubic meters. Ito po yung kaya niyang i-contain. The container can hold 6.28 cubic meter of water due to the leak. Okay, this time I hope you are now ready. Uh, you can pause this uh, video para po ma-practice nyo. I have here a set of five questions. We have here first three. Pwede nyo pong screenshot. And then afterwards, we now have 4 and 5. Pwede nyo pong screenshot ang mga ito. Then you can come back later for the answers. Okay, let us now check your answers. I hope ginawa nyo po yung best nyo dito sa ating mga practice questions. Okay, for number 1, we have here the answer is 17.66 cubic meters. Okay? Next, for number 2, the answer is 1,130.4 cubic feet. Okay, for number 3, ang hinahanap ay radius. The answer is 7.07 .07 feet. Round off to the second decimal place. Next, for number 4, ang hinahanap dito ay height. So, the answer is 3 feet. And for number 5, parang yung example natin kanina, First, you get the volume of the container, which is 62.8 cubic meters, and then you get the 75% of this. You just multiply it by 0 0.75, ang makukuha mo ay 47.1 cubic meters. Okay, so that's it for our video lesson for today. I hope na practice nyo po. And thank you for listening. I hope meron po ulit kayong natutunan. And I want to see you again on the next video. Bye-bye and God bless. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel. Para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang math ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa mat isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.